I don't know why you guys, but I made this room look like it was in Florida. Hey everybody, it's design time. In today's video, we have a room for improvement and this one comes from Louise in Arizona and she's trying to make a nice living space for her mother in her two bedroom condo. So let's take a look at the video Louise sent in and we'll get right to it. Hi, this is the entrance to the problematic room which will soon have a barn door um, here to eliminate this door, which is the first of many doors. If you're a guest and you come in to use the restroom, you have to come into this private room back here to use this restroom. This is the door to a large walk-in storage closet and these are the French doors. Other than that, there is a small wall there, a large wall there, and the other main surface wall. Um, coming back over here, there is that wall that has the TV on it right now and I'm open to changing everything. This has been an office, a sometimes guest room, a den, and none of this furniture is probably going to stay. Um, my mother needs to move in and she'd like to camouflage the bed and make it more of a seat, sitting room, reading, laptop room. She's active and elderly, so it needs to be a comfortable bed. I was hoping for a Murphy bed, but they're kind of expensive. So I'm looking for creative ways to lay out the design in here. Every time I try to look for like a tiny house sectional or a desk that flips out of the wall or something, I, I can't figure out how to design this room to make it comfortable. We are not cluttered type people. We like to live sort of minimally. And um, so I'm looking for functional ideas about how to make this space um, be as large as it possibly can. It's fairly small. Um, so this is looking back. So you have all the angles and we really appreciate any help you can send us. Thank you from both of us. Bye. How cute is that guy? So I think the main concern in this room is going to be the bed. Louise said she looked into Murphy beds, but they're super pricey and I have to agree. So the pictures I created for this room are on my phone. Let's take a look. So we're going to take that entrance wall that will be on the left of this picture and the main wall that doesn't have any doors or windows, which is where we're going to put the bed. Now I put a barn door in there because that is what Louise said they were going to do and that's a great idea since that's something that slides rather than opens and takes up room. It sounds like Louise's mom would like the bed to not be a bed or would rather it be looking like a sitting area rather than the usual sheets and pillows. So I'm going to suggest something that looks like a day bed. And that can either be with a twin size bed, a double bed, or a queen. Now the smaller the better for it to look more like a sofa. I don't mind twin beds. I am a big lady and a twin bed is more than enough room for me. So with the bed and the barn door, up went some art and added a desk and a chair to the wall that has the barn door or the entry door. When I put pillows, I changed them around a little bit as well as the area rug. And I ended up with a yellow and blue area rug. And though it's really hard to tell the size of this space, since it's one confined square, the bigger the rug, the better. So whatever quilt set or comforter set that goes on this bed, during the day, that top cover can be moved to the middle. But in my mind, when sleeping there, your head is on the right side. Desk is at the foot. When you move the comforter to cover the entire area of the mattress, any pillows used for sleeping, some extra decorative pillows up against the wall to make it look more like a seating area. Now, I don't know if there's room for this, but I put a little table and a plant. And I I don't know why you guys but I made this room look like it was in Florida but the main objective here is to make a useful and aesthetically pleasing room I just was in the mood so here we have the finished product books and laptop on the desk a tray with morning tea or coffee right on the bed as if it's a sofa and the only thing missing from this picture is a coffee table which you will see from another view now the television was in between the bathroom and the closet sitting up on a coffee console table of some kind. And what I did here is I just hung it on the wall because to the right is where you enter the room and that's going to be the first thing that you see. So either keep that completely bare with just the television or a dresser which fits very nicely under the television that's attached to the wall. And there you 
can see I added a coffee table and of course I changed it, but any coffee table will do. Now I forgot to put the dog's dog door over there to the left, but that goes to the outside, which what a wonderful thing to have in a bedroom. And I actually removed that little brown cabinet that would have been at the foot of the bed because I'm not sure that there's room for that. Now, although I have not done it yet, I am going to draw out a floor plan with the items and where they're going to be, including where all four doors are. I also want to mention the dresser that is under the television could very well be something that replaces the desk if there's not enough room. And what I would suggest for that is a drop leaf table. If this drop leaf table's leaves are down, it's nice and slender under the television. But if you want to grab a chair from somewhere in the room and flip that up, voila desk. The main thing for me in this room, and I think also for Louise's mom, was the bed and making it not so much of a bed and more of a functional seating area during the day. And in staging, I've done this many times and just pushed a bed without any headboard up against the wall sideways and decorate it with pillows on the front and any comforter that makes it look like it's all one piece. That way you're saving room as opposed to a bed that comes straight out from the wall and you have to figure out what to put on either side of it. This way you have more room coming out for the coffee table and just to make the room feel more open. Now what I really like about these Room for Improvement videos is when we have watchers make comments on something else they would have done or something that they would have done differently. Now if any of you have sent in a Room for Improvement for me and I haven't done it yet, this is because it's harder than just a square room like Louise had. And if the room is an odd shape, which a lot of the times that's why you guys need help, it just takes me longer. So it's probably coming. And if anyone else out there has a room in their home that could use some improvement, there are directions down in the description box below on how to send that in. But that's it for this bedroom for improvement. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.